we're going to look at two rules for integration. The first rule involves integrals of the form e to the x dx. If this is an indefinite integral, this evaluates to e to the x plus a constant c. Let's look at an example with a definite integral. If we need to evaluate an integral from 1 to 4 of pi e to the x dx, since pi is a constant, the result is pi times e to the x evaluated from 1 to 4. To evaluate, we plug in the upper bound first and then subtract the lower bound. So the result is pi times the quantity e to the fourth minus e to the first. Let's look at the second rule. To evaluate integrals of the form 1 over x dx, if we have an indefinite integral, this evaluates to the natural log of x plus a constant c. Let's look at an example with a definite integral. To evaluate the integral from 1 to 2 of 7 over x dx, since 7 is a constant, the result is 7 times the natural log of x evaluated from 1 to 2. Again, we plug in the upper bound first and then subtract the lower bound. This gives us 7 times the quantity, the natural log of 2, minus the natural log of 1. To simplify, since the natural log of 1 is 0, this term will drop out, leaving us with 7 times the natural log of 2. We can simplify this further using log rules. Since 7 times the natural log of 2 is the same as natural log of 2 to the 7th, or the natural log of 128, our final answer is the natural log of 128.